Hi, welcome to my kitchen today. I found some little recipe things. I think these were my mom's um, in some stuff. It is a crumble apple pie. And it is from the Great American Home Baking. <laughs> I think it was like a subscription you used to could buy back in like the 70s. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm gonna try it. It's a crumbly apple pie. They have a topping on here. Um, it has flour and brown sugar, but I'm going to add oatmeal to it because I love the streusel with the oatmeal on it. So let's get started today. Yeah. So I have about uh, four or five cups of apples that I sliced real thin. I put lemon juice on them to keep them a little bright. <laughs> so we have, for that, we have a half a cup of sugar. And I'm reading this as we go along, a teaspoon of cinnamon. It's a half a teaspoon. I read this morning. And then a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Lay it off of this. Put the nutmeg on there. And then just a little pinch of salt. On the top here. And I'm gonna stir that together. It's not got like a ton of sugar in it, which would be good for my husband. I was out of stevia. I usually try to make a lot of these kind of things with stevia. It just works the best trying to measure it. Okay, I got that stirred up pretty well. And I have a par-baked pie crust. Um, bake it in the oven about 350. I put the pie crust in, and I buy store-bought crust a lot. Uh, you can make your own. And then I punch a few little holes in it with a knife. I put a some aluminum foil in the bottom. I freeze it until it's frozen, and then I put just like, I just use beans, just regular beans. You can buy the baking beans if you want. I don't. I just use those. I have plenty, and they're cheap. And uh, bake it at 350 for about eight minutes. I'm going to pour the apples in the pie shell. It seems like a lot of apples, but you know, they cook down. <laughs> But it's so good with that streusel topping on top. It's similar to the swamp pie that I make, but I don't put the custard on top. You can. It's fine. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour over the top of this. Okay. And then I have a cup of oats. Have a half or three quarters of a cup of brown sugar packed and two tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna give that a little stir there. And two tablespoons of melted butter. And if that doesn't seem like enough butter, um, you can either add some more melted butter to the top. I like lots of butter, so I always add just a little bit of butter to the top of mine. And I'm just gonna pour that all over the top of the pie here. Okay, there's that. Okay, I am going to Add some dots of butter to the top, and this is my butter bell. Did not know what this was for the longest time. <laughs> I did not. My, one of my friends gave it to me. So funny. I just kept looking, trying to find something, and um, I just seen it on Facebook. Somebody was selling one <laughs> on Marketplace. So I'm like, oh, that's what that is. But I like it. You put cold water in this part, and then you just pack the butter in that. 
and I assume it was before a lot of refrigeration people always kept their butter on the counter and you um, it was a way to keep your butter cold we keep our butter on the countertop anyway because we go through a lot. Or margarine, whichever you use. I only use butter, but that's just me. Okay, so I put some dots of butter around it and wet my hands. Put that, so this part goes back in here. <laughs> Set that off to the side. So that is what it looks like. And we're going to put that in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. And then I'm going to let it cool and then we'll be back and we will cut it and give it a taste test. Hello everyone. I'm back with the pie, the crumbly apple oatmeal pie. It came out really good. It looks great. So we are going to cut it. I'm not the best pie cutter. I said that before. It is crumbly. The crust, so yeah, it looks good. It's really good. The apples are good. Oatmeal. Streusel is really good on top of the cinnamon. Um. So if you have apples that are going bad, I used Red Delicious. That's what I had. I didn't want them to go bad. That's what I wanted to make with them. And it turned out really good. So just try, you know, different ones you like. You know, they always say use Granny Smith. I do sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> like, yeah, I just use them because they were going bad. So yeah, try it. Let me know what you think about it. And I will see you in the next video. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll see more content like this whenever I come back on. It helps my channel grow. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.